What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video and guys today we do have top snipe filters in NBA 2K20 and yes guys these are going to make you a lot of MT. We're going to go over about 5 to 10 snipe filters and literally the best snipe filters in the game. Before we get into the video make sure to smash the sub button, drop that like, let's get 100 likes on this video because it's a very good tip video you guys are going to like. And uh, yeah, please, if you guys need MT, make sure to hit me up on Twitter, man. We're selling MT. So yeah, make sure to hit me up on Twitter or Instagram, which is in the links in the description. And okay, let's go over to Snipe Filters. Um, if I were you guys, it looks like it's a very good time to invest in prime players because I think their prices will rise. Um, Paul George is going for around 650 today. So I just want to start off the video with that. And uh, yeah, let's get into number one Snipe Filter, man. One of the best snipe filters in the game, Galaxy Opal Showtime. It is money. Only thing I do recommend is probably buying out Chris Webber, which indeed I'm out actually about to buy him out because he's actually a very good power forward. So we're going to buy him out in this video. I want to lock in Kareem. I think I could get these, these cards for a little bit cheaper. But yeah, man, this is definitely one of the best snipe filters in a game as long as you do get Chris Webber. Um, it looks like that one does have a shoe, so I'll probably end up picking that one up. So... We're going to pick them up, and then I'm going to show you what's goody with this card. Um, so we're going to add to our collection. This is pretty much how you do the enable filter. It's mad money. So um, there he is. Add it to the collection. Chris Weber, welcome to the squad. And uh, Showtime, all you got to do is minim uh, minimum buyout. I had to press enable. Enable minimum buyout. Here we go. And yeah, man, if you get Rashad Lewis, Jimmy Butler, or Shaquille O'Neal, you make a lot of profit. So... Honestly, this filter is probably the best one. Why? Because, bro, if you get Rashad Lewis for under 100,000 MT, you are literally an MT millionaire. If I snipe him out, I'm locking in Kareem for like 400K. Best center in the game. So if you, if I were you, if you really want to lock in that Kareem and drop the 1.4 for Rashad Lewis, I would probably try out this filter for at least an hour and get lucky, hopefully, and see if you can snipe him out. But that's number one. That's Galaxy Opal Snipe Filter number one. It's actually pretty 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 money so we're gonna get to the next one man this one is pink diamond showtime man this one's also very good you can put your min your maximum to like 5k um it's completely up to you what you want to do you could enable out nate robinson but no need to enable out because there's a lot of cheap pink diamonds and also i think nate robinson was going for 4,000 mt he already rose up to 5,000 mt so if you didn't invest, you did take a mini L. You could have made a pretty decent amount of MT off these Nate Robinsons. So if you want, you could refresh with the maximum bid. 4,900 right there. I'm going to pick that one up. I really think Nate Robinson does go in value. He's low-key a hidden opal. He's very OP. And I definitely think he's worth it. So he's pretty solid. There's a lot of other cards that are solid. So let's get into the next night filter, man. Let's get it. Let's go. Um, Pink Diamond. Instead of just Showtime, bro, you could just go Pink Diamond. Because, like I said, Nate Robinson, Rashad Lewis. I forgot they did just drop a Rashad Lewis ping dying locker code. So, you should probably set your filter to around 5K. There should be millions of snipes on this filter. There should be snipes almost every single time you refresh. Like, 4,600 for Rashad Lewis. So, what you guys want to do is refresh with the maximum bid. There should be snipes popping up every single minute. Um, you should see 3 hours and 59 minute mark popping up every second. Like, there it is, 3 hours and 58 minutes. Let's raise the maximum buyout. So, yeah, this is definitely a good snipe filter. It is going to be harder to get really high tier ones because now all the cheap pick diamonds, they're very cheap. So, it looks like 4,600 is a new, like, wave for these. So, yeah, this snipe filter is definitely good, though. There we go. Another Nate Robinson 4,900. I'm going to pass up on this one. But as you guys can see, man, there's cards popping up on almost every single refresh. Let's get into the next snipe filter, man. Let's get it. Um, diamond filter. Honestly, bro, I would say 1600 1500 um, Every single time you refresh, if you get them for 1650 should be able to sell them for like 2000 MT. As you can see, man, the Muggsy Bogues, the Hot Rod Williams, they have no value whatsoever. 
So they're probably going to be the cheap ones, man. Um, let's put the maximum bid over. That's how I usually refresh. Always refresh at the maximum bid as long as it is a buyout. Um, very good filter. Very good method. You can make a lot of MT off this filter. It is kind of ruined somewhat. It really just depends on who you snipe. Let's get to the next one. I don't know why this one's still deadly to this day. But it's really just the AMI filter for 1100 um, You can get a lot of these cards for dirt cheap. And honestly, a lot of these amethysts go for like 2 to 3k. So there's another one that goes for a pretty decent amount. So another one right there. Honestly, bro, if you want to make a lot of MT fast, like 500 MT here, 1,000 MT here, Amethyst filter is going to be one of the best ones. I'm not even going to lie. It's a very good filter. So there's a lot of snipe filters. Not only that, man, I've been talking about this for a while. This is not really a snipe filter. This is really just W's and W's and W's. So ready? All you got to do, premium moments of the week, man. These cards are so damn rare. They're not in packs whatsoever. So first off, if you want to snipe some, I would definitely recommend hopping just going by player, bro. Straight up, or you want to do it by moments of the week because they have moments of the week one, two, three, four, five on the auction. You can refresh that way. The one with Levine Pink Diamond still is very rare. A lot of these cards are going for a lot, like Jokic, some of the Amethyst, man. They're still going for like 20k. So if you want, you could try to snipe them out. Like Josh Richardson, Ami 10k. Fournier is probably like 5k. So a lot of these cards are still going for a lot of MT. You can make millions of MC off these. Like, you could literally just snipe easily on these filters. Not only a filter. If you won, you could make it a filter on the auction and go to moments of the week five. But, yeah, as you can see, these sapphires and stuff, these go for a lot of MT. So, honestly, you don't even need to snipe them. Honestly, if you have them in your collection, make sure to sell them because these cards are super rare. They haven't been packs in for a while. So, make sure to go do that. Also, if you guys had this Udonis Haslam card, you could probably try sniping him out. He goes for a lot of MT as well. But uh, let's go into the next filter, man. 650 snipe filter, man. It's very deadly. A lot of people have been sniping off opals like this. I don't know how they snipe opals, but it's crazy. Um, it, Honestly, let's drop it a 600 refresh. 600 refresh, 650 refresh is kind of destroyed now. It's crazy how all these cards are 650. There's so many. Um, In my opinion, honestly... If you get out all your opals, pink diamonds, and diamonds out of your collection, and you do this filter with the enabled on the current series cards, that's a pretty big W. You can make thousands of MT off this method, but then again, you could also drop it down to 600. It might take a little longer for stuff to pop up, but you never know, because for some reason in this game, people throw up opals for 500 MT. Don't ask me how, don't ask me why. Let's get into the next filter, man. Heat check filter. Nobody has had heat checks cards, bro. Heat check cards are super rare. They're at 3,000 apiece. They're going for a lot of MT. Don't ask me why, but yes, man. Heat check cards are very freaking rare. And every single one minimally goes for 3,000 MT. So if you have 100 of those cards, 3,000 MT apiece, that's 300K MT. That is literally, what, five, six collections for 100 cards? So think about it this way, man. If you have these heat check cards, you're out here balling. If you snipe one out for 2,000 MT, whatever MT... You're going to make a lot of MT, so definitely the heat check car, heat check filter is definitely a good method. And not only that, you could throw up your maximum bid pretty high, so pretty good filter, man. There's a couple other filters. Uh, what's it called? Galaxy Opal. The, honestly, I'm going to show you this filter. So if you guys have like 2 to 3 million MT and you want to lock in Kareem, but you don't want to lose all your MT, this is what you do. This is the best method in the game, okay? You buy out every single Galaxy Opal in the game. That is buyable, okay? You buy out Larry, you buy out Weber, you buy out everybody, bro. Chauncey Billups, freaking George Gervin, uh, Alan Iverson, Nate Thurman. You buy out every single one of those cards. It probably costs around three to four mil. If you have three to four mil, I know at this stage of the game, bro, a lot of people have three to four mil. You buy all those cards, you go Galaxy Opal, minimum buyout, an able card, and you literally just ball out, okay? I'm telling you, that method is going to make you a million MT a day if you have the millions to make it. Dude, I'm telling you, the more MT you have, the more MT you will make. And that method is going to make you millions of MT. You can snipe out a million cards. And Eddie Jones at 89K is stupid cheap. I'm probably going to pick him up. But you guys understand the vibes. Um, I think that's about seven to eight snipe filters. I'm not sure. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Stay tuned for more content. We're going to have a video after this as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Stay tuned for more content. Peace.